Uh, hi, I'm Stephen Cook, Cook Saw Manufacturing. We're down in South Alabama and on a beautiful June 1st day of 2018. Uh, we've had some good rain lately and we've been appreciating and thankful for that. Uh, the grass is growing and got grass to cut now. But wanted to uh, start a little series this, mor this morning uh, about hydraulics and, and we'll talk about hydraulics in general. I'm going to show you hydraulics of course on our AC36 sawmill and uh, the, the truth about hydraulics is pretty universal whether it's on a skid steer or, or some other piece of uh, a grapple or uh, whatever the hydraulics are pretty much universal you got to have a valve you got to have a pump to start with and oil and and your valves that move your cylinders and so hopefully i'll give you some good ideas uh, about what's going on and it'll help you whether you're looking at a sawmill or troubleshooting something else uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, you can get into some complex things, but it's fairly simple how it works. I'd invite you to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to our website, cooksaw.com, two S's in that. And uh, we have articles in there. We're always trying to put out information that will be helpful to you. The hydraulics, uh, the way we run on our AC36 here, we have a hydraulic pump. In this case, we've got a double hydraulic pump. All that means is there's essentially two hydraulic pumps, if you could see that up close, and maybe we'll put a picture in, uh, you can see that there is essentially a hydraulic pump here and a hydraulic pump there. If you have the single one, you look at it and you go, oh, they just bolted two together. That's what they did, essentially, and made a double hydraulic pump running off of the same shaft. So we can get pressure for two different functions and one doesn't override the other function. In this case, we're using uh, one of these pumps and they can be of different gallons per minute even so you can get different configurations and we're go in this case particularly we're running our hydraulic debarker that we we show on different videos and then i'm running the rest of the hydraulics on the sawmill with the other pump to make a pump run of course you got to have fluid we're coming our, our tank is mounted up here with with our larger line is the uh, fluid incoming then to the hydraulic pump on one side and then the pressure lines are coming out the other side. We're running this pump, this double pump, off of uh, our main engine. This is a 51 horse, actually it's the 62 horsepower turbo on this sawmill. And plenty of power to run uh, both of these pumps. Built in one, you got that one shaft and we're turning it off of the engine there. And, uh, so that's what's building our power. Uh, of course then it just comes through uh, the, the main hydraulic uh, pressure lines and goes up to a manifold with, uh, with a stack of valves. On our sawmill, on this sawmill, we have two different types of valves and that's what the other two series are going to be about. Uh, these valves here, as well as we have some up here, are electric valves and so they operate with switches. Uh, over here we have our manual valves. Uh, and so uh, we'll talk about them as well. But we have some valves mounted in different places to get close proximity to whatever we're operating. And here on this one, we've built a belt. You can't see it, but we've built a belt into the bed. And uh, the reason is to help get that lumber out the back. So we have different options. If you're looking for something on the sawmill, uh, we can add little things in like that that are helpful. We always put this, uh, this roller on the end to help with that but sometime if you're short sawing certain lumber whether it's cross ties or short lumber or whatever we can put uh, different things in there and when, once you have the hydraulics on the mill then just adding in uh, valves of different types to operate uh, really work nice and here is a valve and this is a flow control valve we can control the speed of that belt back here we have a flow control valve that controls the speed of this head back and forward. We have hydraulic motors uh, that feed forward and backwards. I was looking to see if I could show you one. There's a hydraulic motor here. There's a hydraulic motor uh, up on the head that's turning a gearbox that raises this up and down. So we have quite a bit of hoses on here, but the wonderful thing about hydraulics is hydraulic systems just run. And uh, they do a good job. They're consistent, they're powerful. And uh, so, anyway, that's the basis of this uh, hydraulics. Uh, of course, a filter is always important. We have a suction strainer that goes into the tank. But that's the basis of how the hydraulics works. Pretty simple. It's just a flow from the pump to a valve to operate whatever you're doing. And so, 
Uh, that'll be the first in, in this series, and then we'll come back and talk about the manual valves and then the electric valves.